Hey there gun enthusiasts of Arma 3, King of the Hill community. In this video I'll be reviewing the Type 115 multi-purpose rifle with a cost of 50,000 stock that unlocks at, unlocks at level 24 and a variety of scopes from 10 to 25,000 swipes the dust from the AK-12 since AK is unlocked at level 34 for a price of 60,000. So let's go through some facts. The Type 115 is a completely fictional and has no direct real world counterpart. However, the concept behind the design is strikingly dissimilar to the real life QTS 11, which is a Chinese uh, military gun implemented in the year 2015, uh, which fires a 20 millimeter airburst, guys, airburst shells. What that tells me is to not mess with Chinese or Koreans. I mean, come on. If somebody would be shooting me with an AK, okay, but with a 20 millimeter grenade launcher that has an airburst capability that can shoot me inside the home, no fucking way. By the way, this gun also has a 10 round comp uh, c capacity of the 20 millimeter grenade launcher. So, no thank you. No. Just plain no. Right, let's go back to Arma 3. Type 105 uses 6.5 times 39 millimeter or 50 cal under barrel. For the 6.5 you have 30 round capacity with the semi and full auto firing mode. And for the 50 cal you got 10 round capacity with a semi auto firing mode. This brings me to the reason why I decided doing this review since I have been killed so many times by the under barrel 50 cal that it brought, brought it to my attention for the gun. Now the 50 cal also can be used for light vehicles since it's an anti-material shell but not for the high armored vehicles. So let's do a comparison versus the AK-12. Again AK-12 unlocks at level 34 versus the Type 115 at level 24. The cost of Type 115 is $10,000 less. The mass which affects your movement speed and stamina drain are the same. Both guns can be suppressed as well. So in that case, I would say it's a clear win for the Type 115, right? Well, yes. If you're in between of 20, level 24 and level 30, and you need an efficient gun, which also can kill with one bullet. Besides, of course, if your enemy is OP4, which has the most OP armor in the game. I would say go for it. The gun in itself will bring you a big advantage over the other guns at this level. But there is one thing that I have to mention yet, and that bothers me a lot. And that's the firing mod that switches each time you get revived, go in and out of the vehicle or when you switch your guns. In that case your gun will always go to semi-auto and that can result in you dying. And that is it for this gun review. Please tell me what have I missed so that I add to the next gun review. Also I would like to remind you that I am streaming almost each day on Twitch. Please check me out. All the support means a lot to me. And thanks for viewing. Good luck and have fun in King of the Hill or other Arma 3 mods. Finally.